Matthew, yeah. we need more spicy questions. Thanks a lot. Uh, Matthew Lee, Inner City Press, uh, on behalf of the Free UN Coalition for Access, thanks for the briefing. I wanted to ask you about this report by Human Rights Watch, uh, JADA July 24th, that says that unguided grad rockets uh, were launched apparently by Ukrainian government forces or pro-government militias, killing 16 near Donetsk and may constitute war crimes. So I'm sure you've seen the report, and I wanted to know what your response is to that. And then I guess hope maybe less spicy on the International Monetary Fund. I know that there was a, the program was reached, and it seems like what with the, 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 the downing of the aircraft and the things that were going on, I wanted to know whether any of the, uh, the, 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 the conditions for the program, does the country want more from the IMF, does it seek it from other sources, or what impact has it had on, on the program that was pretty tailored to a situation uh, at the time it was reached? Thanks. Okay. Thank you. From, uh, from the last, uh, because our minister had uh, Yesterday or day yesterday. before? Yesterday. He, he had a, a meeting in Washington with uh, Katrin Legar. As we know, as outcomes of this conversation, that we, Ukraine will have the next uh, tranche uh, by the end of, uh, of August. So this is what, uh, no, for me, it means that uh, uh, IMF um, is cooperative to assist Ukraine in this, uh, 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 in this situation. So uh, we, um, as to your uh, question about the, um, uh, uh, this, uh, the, the, the report and this part of the report, uh, we noticed and uh, our minister made a comment that uh, 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 that uh, the uh, the mission did not recognize uh, did not recognize uh, the sources. Uh, the fueling uh, of, uh, of all these uh, problems, because in the report it was stated that uh, it was not clear from which side these rockets were sent. Uh, we explained that, we explained through um, uh, um, our military staff um, and uh, uh, through uh, the anti-terrorist uh, center that uh, Ukraine Ukrainian uh, anti-terrorist uh, um, uh, groupings there, there, they were not using any rockets against the residential areas. Uh, no aviation were used uh, against the residential areas. So uh, um, this is our part of, uh, uh, of this statement. Uh, and um, unfortunately, in the report, it was not so clear, and they, they, they told about the uncertainty who uh, standing behind, and we explained them who standed behind. I just want to ask one, because maybe I wasn't clear. I'm, I'm not asking about the UN report. I'm asking about Human Rights Watch, the organization, yeah. put out a very detailed report, not about air power, but about grad rockets, saying that they, they're untargeted, and they go through to attack near the train station July 21. They quote, it's a different report. It's one... It's a very detailed one. It's a because because in the report I'm referring to, well, on the 28th, uh, so also there is uncertainty uh, how it could happen. So we explained that uh, there is a strong order um, by the president and in all the uh, military units not to use any kind of the rockets, uh, no aviation against the residential areas, against the cities and the villages. So this is some kind of... Uh, uh, <clears throat> Uh, well, uh, mistake or uh, the information of it should be uh, should be proved uh, uh, further. Um, my uh, my statement is based on what uh, we know because if any uh, and even if any mistakes uh, happens from the Ukrainian side, it should be uh, it should be part of the investigation and serious investigation because it's a violation of the order. If it, if it happened. It did not happen. Uh, as well as the, uh, you must probably notice in um, uh, some Russian media that they, they told that uh, uh, Ukrainian side used ballistic ro rockets. Have you noticed that? That's not what I'm asking. I'm asking about grad rockets. What? So we do not have, we do not have uh, grad rockets. It's, <clears throat> it's different, but they, uh, they also mentioned that we used ballistic rockets. We do not have any kind of ballistic rockets since mid-90s. <clears throat> so, but uh, that's why any, any of these uh, mm, facts should be well <clears throat> investigated. Mm, uh, if it, uh, if it uh, appeared in the official statement of this group, it will be investigated by the, <clears throat> um, the authorities for sure. But, again, 
Yes, please. Yes, Matthew. Sure, thanks a lot. I wanted to ask, that, uh, um, I guess it was on Sunday, or anyway, July 27th, the, the, state, the U.S. State Department uh, put out a readout of the call of the Secretary of State Kerry with uh, Sergei Lavrov of Russia, and it said, the Secretary underlined our support, meaning U.S. support, for a mutual ceasefire verified by the OSCE. And more recently, the German foreign minister has also spoken about a ceasefire. So I wanted to know, what is the Ukrainian government, I mean, what's your position on the idea of, 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 of a ceasefire? What would be, I know that previously it was said that the rebels should basically kind of either capitulate or turn themselves in. What, what's your view of a ceasefire and do you support what, <clears throat> this position? We, we stated uh, very clearly. <clears throat> so preconditions, <clears throat> because several times we, uh, we ceasefire uh, unilaterally. But instead, we lost uh, uh, more people uh, than during the, the fire. So uh, unconditional uh, uh, or preconditional uh, 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 position uh, for ceasefire is to stop uh, feeding illegal armed groups from the Russian side. It means to close Ukraine and Russia border and to have it controlled um, with the help of the OEC experts. We are to do that first. The second, to release all, all hostages unconditionally. They should be released. And again, that uh, we are ready for the uh, to cease fire, but if the, uh, the armed groups, they do the same. They did not uh, kept the uh, word, uh, their leaders, they uh, failed to uh, um, to recognize uh, some kind of agreements. So three, um, three basic principles. And then uh, the next will come uh, during uh, the negotiations to, to which we are ready. I told you at the beginning that uh, we have intentions to um, uh, uh, to be part of uh, of these um, negotiations uh, uh, in the tri triangle plus, so uh, Ukrainian side, Russian side, and OEC, plus those who come from the Donetsk. 